Yo, what's up, guys? It's Essence Soto here, and today I'm going to be uh, teaching you how to optimize your PC for more FPS, specifically for Valorant. I, I suppose technically most of these steps you could replicate yourself um, for any other game, but this is mainly going to be for Valorant because I am a Valorant player. My credibility is that I used to be Immortal 3 that one time, so uh, let's get right into it, right? First of all, what you want to do is you want to come down here and you want to type System Restore. So where it says create a restore point, what you want to do as viewers, you want to make a restore point. You want to um, make sure the protection for these two are on and you want to create a system restore point. So under the event that um, the settings don't work in favor of your PC or your P there's conflicts in the PC, um, you could always go back, kind of like going back in time, you know, fixing your mistakes. So make sure to do that, especially if you have like a laptop. Um, if your PC starts doing the Dougie, I better not see a single lawsuit, okay? Um, so the fair warning, you know, just in case, um, this should be 100% safe. I've done it hundreds of times and it uh, has never uh, bugged out for me. So just in case some people might have a, a different experience. Okay, so first step is you want to go to the bottom left and you want to type startup apps. Once you're here, once you're in startup apps, you want to make sure everything is just off. Like this is just useless. You don't need this at all. Um, you don't really you don't really want your apps to start up with your PC. It can actually affect uh, your PC sometimes. And in some cases, um, you forget to like log out or exit the applications. And then it's in the background of your PC, just taking up frames uh, unnecessarily. Next, you want to make sure uh, you want to type gaming. And you want to make sure that game mode is on. So I have game mode on. You want this on. You want to go to Xbox Game Bar and you want to make sure this is off. So turn this off. You don't need this. This is unnecessary. Okay, next you want to type delivery optimization. It's going to take you here. Go back one and uh, turn off allow downloads from other PCs. You don't need that. It's also crucial while you're already here to know that um, if your PC isn't to like up to date, um, make sure all your updates are done. Make sure your driver updates are done. Make sure your GPU's updated. Any updates that are like too far behind might be causing optimization issues, uh, issues especially for your game. So. Um, be mindful of that make sure everything's updated and uh, set up already okay this one's kind of fun you go to the bottom left you type GPU and it's gonna say uh, graphics settings is gonna pop up so click on that turn on hardware accelerated GPU scheduling you want that on and uh, as you can see I'm in um, my PC files you want to go to where you have Valorant installed so for me it would be local disk C then you would go to Riot Games then you would go to Valorant then you would go to live and uh add this one click on it and go to add click valor and go to add options high performance save then you want to do the exact same thing if you click browse again it will take you to the exact, exact same place then you want to go to shooter game binaries windows 64 windows 64 shipping now this is the important file um, I do both just to be safe, but this is the actual like um, file that's really important when it comes to the FPS. Make sure it's uh, both are on high performance. It says restart the PC to apply the settings, but don't worry about that. We'll do that at the end of this video. Next, you want to go to the bottom left and you want to type battery. This is going to take you to power and sleep settings. Click on that. Once you're in here, go to additional power settings. Once you're in uh, additional power settings, there's going to be an arrow that says show additional plans. Some people may have these settings. Some people may not have these settings. So uh, be mindful of that. I'm going to set it to high performance. That's what you want it on. Okay, so once you're all done with all of that that I just mentioned in the window settings, you want to right click desktop and you want to click on NVIDIA control panel. Now, this is exclusively for NVIDIA graphic cards, uh, graphics cards, obviously. Um, I'm not really sure what... Uh, other graphics cards use but this is um strictly for nvidia i imagine you want to go to where it says adjust image settings with preview and then you want to click on use my preference emphasizing performance and drag this all the way to the left apply once you've applied that you can go to manage 3d settings and uh over here you're gonna see there's a lot of settings don't worry i'll let you know which ones to um change so uh from what i can see here so low latency mode this is extremely important um, 
do you want this this is where it's preference if you have it you have it if you don't you don't you either want to put it on on or ultra i personally do ultra because i like it better th that way the difference is literally negligible so it's completely up to you if you want it on or ultra then you want to scroll down a little bit to where it says power management mode and turn it from normal to prefer maximum performance oh, prefer did i just say prefer 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 maximum performance then where it says texture filtering quant uh, quality i set it to uh, performance personally i like it on high performance just in case and uh, yeah that's pretty much it for that hit apply to everything finally this is important um if you haven't been here already um if it's not obvious enough you go to change resolution make sure your monitor is on the the hertz that it's supposed to be on some people forget to change that and they'll be playing on like 60 hertz like their entire life because they have no idea also while you're here um i do this use nvidia color settings and then i apply it that's for the colors if you want um better colors you feel free to do that if you go to setup uh g sync right here some people have this on their monitor some people don't have it some people have something called free sync which is the equivalent but for other companies and basically if you have screen tearing this is something you might want to consider but if you don't get screen tearing or you don't even know what that is because you would know what screen tearing is if you had it I would suggest disabling this this is not good for you it adds unnecessary uh, input lag and uh, you shouldn't have it on to be honest and finally this last part is preference if you go to adjust video color settings you can go to um click on with the nvidia settings and uh, go to where it says advanced and turn this to full that way you'll see um all the colors instead of just a limited amount of them uh, the colors on your monitor will look better isn't this so easy we're getting so far already okay then you want to go to your files again once more you want to go to where you have your um riot uh your valor installed so riot games in uh i have it in my local disc riot games then I want to click on Valorant Live. Okay, once you find Valorant in your files, you want to click on it one time, right click it, go to properties, and then where it says compatibility, click on that tab. It's going to take you to this screen right here. If you click disable full screen optimizations, uh, and then go to change high DPI settings, click override high DPI scaling behavior application, okay. You can apply this, okay, and you're out of that screen. Then once you're still here go to uh shooter game just like last time we're gonna go to the shipping version shooter games binary windows 64 scroll down to where it's gonna be very obvious it's gonna be windows 64 shipping uh same thing click on it once right click it compatibility turn on disable full screen optimizations go to change high dpi settings click on override high dpi scaling behavior okay apply okay and you can exit out of here oh and uh let me mention this now before i forget if you go to the bottom left and you type mouse uh it'll bring up mouse settings click on mouse settings um here we have the window it's going to take you to go to additional mouse options here on the right click on that go to where it says pointers uh my fault pointer options and uh where it says enhance pointer position unselect this and click apply this is going to get rid of mouse acceleration okay and finally for the, this is like a an a extra bonus tip if you go to discord and you go to settings and then you scroll down to where it says uh advanced you can turn off hardware acceleration so if you it's going to say change hardware acceleration click okay what happens when you turn off um hardware acceleration for discord is that discord won't use so much of your gpu anymore so um, when you have it in the background, your games are going to run a lot more smooth. Okay, so finally, we're going to open Valorant, and this is the part where I'm going to teach you how to customize uh, or the, the best settings for your Valorant um, FPS in the game itself. Okay, once you're all loaded up and inside of Valorant, you want to go to the gear in the top right, hit settings, go to video. I'm already here, but if you go to video, um, go to where it says limit FPS on battery, battery make sure that's off. Uh, these two are preference, you can leave these on, uh, where it says limit FPS always, make sure this is off, you want this off. NVIDIA reflex low latency, if you have it, turn it to on, if you don't, if you have a on plus boost, feel free to turn it to on plus boost, this is another one of those things where the difference is almost negligible, so it's completely up to you, it's completely preference, go to graphics quality, um, multi-threaded rendering, make sure this is on, you want this on, material quality low, texture quality low, detail quality low, UI quality low, 
net uh, off, V-Sync off, make sure that's off. You want that, you never want V-Sync. Anti-aliasing, none. And uh, anisotropic filtering, one. Uh, improved clarity off, everything's to the right, everything. And this is to ensure that your quality looks, um, your quality is as low as possible so you can maximize your frames as much as possible. If you wanna see your frames, you go to stats and you click on client FPS, turn that on, Turn uh, total frame time, you turn that on as well. Now, if you go over to general, you can scroll down and you'll see there's a couple of settings here that we can look at. We have um, show mature content. You want uh, show corpses off and you want show blood off. I'm also going to turn show mature content off just so like to clear up some space here. But basically blood uh, takes away a little bit of FPS in this game. So if you turn uh, the mature content off, you turn the blood off, you will get a little bit more FPS corpses. The bodies on the floors actually takes away um, a little bit of FPS as well. So it, by turning them off, um, the bodies will be replaced with just uh, the, the, the agent's face. You'll know where the dead bodies are. You just won't see their corpse. And finally, you can hop into the range and you can test out your new settings. I hope uh, this video was able to help you in any which way. If you did enjoy this video, if you did find it useful, make sure to like and subscribe so other people can find this video. And uh, it would help me out a lot. I also have a Twitch channel, so you can feel free to like stop by and uh, watch my live streams on there. Or drop me a follow if you want to support me. But uh, I hope this video helped and uh, happy gaming. Enjoy.